everyone. How are you? This is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Let me know when you hop on if you can hear me. All right, I'm gonna get this going on my personal page so we can spread the love. Um, when, you when you get on, make sure you say hello and make sure that you comment, like, sprinkle this, and let me know if you can hear me. Can you comment and let me know if you can hear me? I wanna make sure that the speakers are working. So say, hey, when you're jumping on, mom, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me because I, I, I have a little bit of a conundrum. So can you hear me? How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. All right. Yes, can hear you. Okay, great. Because my phone is literally flat against the desk right now um, on like a weird thing because literally my tripod broke right before this happened. And so I have this like other tiny one that can't hold my phone. So it's kind of using, I'm just using it as like a tray to like hold it on. It's, it's a mess. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kama. Hi, Amy. Hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. But yeah, so we had a bit of a conundrum. Two minutes ago, two minutes prior to this, the tripod broke. So I'm makeshifting something, which is why I'm at an angle, although I'm not hating the angle. So hello, hello. Hi, Julia. How's everybody doing? I'm super sad. This was like my OG, my OG tripod that I got last summer when I first started doing lives and stuff. I'm bummed. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to, I don't know. I think it's dead, but I'm, I'm sad. So RIP original Count Your Stitches tripod. Mm. Oh, all right. So, how's everybody doing? Putting that in the trash pile. All right, we are doing a craft tonight with some super cute little flower wooden cutouts that I got at a yard sale last summer. All right. Um, ah, Kama, how are you? Happy May. Kelly, thank you for letting me know. You know... Honestly, Kelly, I really should. I should figure out, we could do like an octopus thing or something. I don't know, we could do something. I think you guys are at hot glue. Yes, hot glue does solve everything. So I got these super cute little wood cutouts at a yard sale last year. We stopped on the side of the road at a yard sale and this guy had a box, a, a box, like a like a four foot tall box of just little wood cutouts that he's you he made and then never did anything with. I made I had like a little bunny one that I used for an Easter craft or whatever. So I've been waiting a year to create something with these. Um, they have little holes that I could technically, and I have like skinny wooden dowels that I could put in, but I don't know. My thought tonight, guys, is to take this this wood sign that I have that traditionally hangs this way. We're gonna hang it this way instead. And I thought we could do like the flowers kind of like this, and then I could do the stem, paint the stems, and then I have a stencil that says time to bloom. We used the love grows here last week. I thought we could do this like in the top and maybe make a cute little bow. I don't know, I thought that might be kind of cute, like a little 3D action going on. But anywho, so how's everybody doing? Make sure that you're saying, hey, when you hop on, uh, make sure you comment below, like this, and if you love it, please sprinkle it on your page too. I would super appreciate the support. So I'm gonna not worry about, the, right now the hanger, the, the original hanger to this is on the back with staples. And so I don't wanna take the time to remove it right now, so I'm just gonna tape it out of our way. Um, so that we can um, not worry about it. And then I will, although that might be a little annoying, and then I'll take care of it another time and we'll do something with it. So what's up? How we all doing? Gonna get going. I was telling Bob, I like sort of have a plan. I feel like this is what always happens with lives. I have this idea, like, yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm just gonna put this on and paint and it's gonna be beautiful. And then I'm like, oh, but how am I gonna do this? Like, how am I gonna paint these flowers? Because my first thought here, guys, is to whitewash this board a little. I think it's a little bit too dark for what I want to do. So we're going to start by whitewashing it. So the way we do that is I'm going to grab a paintbrush and obviously some white paint. All right. And I am going to, hi, Laura, just put a little white paint on my plate. And then... To white to wa to do like a wash instead of a dry brush because I want to do a wash I want it to be a little bit different. I'm gonna stick my brush in the water, kind of wring it out a little, then stick it in the paint, kind of get that off, maybe even stick it in the water one more time, and then go over it. 
So as you can see, it's really kind of, that'll dry different than what it looks like right now. And I'm just gonna do um, the tops, I'm not the top, I'm not gonna do the sides. So yeah, you can see that it's totally, it's just lightening it up a little. That's all I want. I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit because I just feel like the, um, the, the brown is a little bit too dark. So, all right, let's get going on this. Oh, all right, so it, um, well, I said I wasn't gonna do the sides, but then it spilled over on the sides. I feel like I'm a little bit of a like, whoo, right now, because um, we, we had time today to watch a movie before this, and we watched, oh, what's this movie called? What was it called? I think it was called The Last Call um, with Halle Berry, and whoo, 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 my heart is still erasing. Oh my, not erasing, racing. Yes, Amy, we're reverse rusticking. Exactly. It's just a little bit too dark, you know? Oh. But yeah, so we watched the movie right before. It literally finished at 7.50, so with just enough time to spare. Um, and I, I, my heart is just racing. Oh my gosh. It, it was, I will say though, it was very good. Um, not too scary. It really, scary is not the right word. Suspenseful is a better word for it. Um, I, hi I actually highly recommend the movie. It was quite good. Um, but it really, it was, I'm, I'm still calming down. Hi, Bob. I was just telling them about how I'm still, whoops, not plugged in. We need power. I was just telling them how I'm still trying to calm down from our movie. Ho, ho, ho. All right. So, um, so was this, was today not the most beautiful day? Whoops. I hit. Oh, hi. Sorry. My, so for those of you who are just joining, my tripod broke right before this. Can y'all see me? My tripod broke right before this. Oh, of course, Bob, it had your faves, Halle Berry. Um, so yeah, the tripod broke right before this, so I'm doing like a makeshift thing right now with the, with the, the phone. Oh my gosh, but it, so it's in a different place than I'm used to, so oh my gosh, okay. Um, so yeah, was today not the most beautiful day? We went out, um, so Mr. Mr. Count Your Stitches, right, Bob? Um, he does, um, like, triathlons and, and aqua bikes. Um, so an aqua bike is a triathlon minus the running. Um, and so there's a race. Oh, I just splashed that all over the place. Guys, I tell you, I'm like a hot mess right now. Um, so there was a race that we're, we went to go look at the course today. And it was out in Lakeville, and it was beautiful. Um, or Lake, I don't know, I think it was, that's where it was. Um, and it looked like we were in the middle of New Hampshire with beautiful trees and just wonderfulness. And it was gorgeous. And we went for a nice ride because we rode the course. Um, oh my God, I just, I couldn't get, it was just so beautiful. And I wore shorts. I wore this too. I Cool shirt, huh? Like, because everybody needs to know where we're coming from for count your stitches. I know it's backwards, but this is the comfiest shirt. Um, I got it for like two fifty. Um, anyway, so that's done. Okay. I'm going to set it aside because I need to figure out how I'm going to paint my, um, my things. Yeah. Yeah. So the course that we rode today, you were drove, drove, um, was 26 miles. And so Bob rides that on a bike, which yeah, I can't do that. Amy rides that too. Amy's a Amy's an expert too on the riding. Um, and so, yeah, so we went for, I mean, it was a beautiful 26 mile ride, um, drive, I should say, um, by all this water and everything. Um, but yeah, I wore shorts. I was like, it's funny cause I'm not a huge, I don't like the warm weather. I'm just going to move this a little bit and hope you guys can still see. I don't really like warm weather, um, at all, but today was manageable, right? Like I still had my hair down and I wasn't warm. I had long sleeves on and shorts and sneakers and I was like really comfortable. I can deal with that. <laughs> See, Amy, right? Amy, that's funny. <laughs> See, you two know, you two know. Oh my gosh. All right, so I've got a rose and a pretty thing. I don't know how I want to paint these because I could obviously just paint them. Here's my question to you. Do you think I should just go one color, like red rose, pink rose, just straight up one color, and then maybe try to do some shading at the top, and then one color flower here? 
Or should I try to be artistic? I don't know. I'm, I'm not really artistic. So I don't know what to do with this. But, oh, I want to say hey again. In case you I see more people hopping on. So hello. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. This is our live Sunday night craft. We're doing a, um, a little hanger that we're going to put some flowers on and a little stencil. Going to be super cute for the spring or summer or just, you know, anybody who likes flowers. I'm trying to, although I love seasonal stuff, um, and we obviously have to do it, right? Like, can't wait till patriotic stuff starts. Um, but okay, Kel, different colors. Um, I want to also do some like not so seasonal stuff, just stuff that we can put in our homes anytime, right? You know, or can cross, cross seasons, right? Uh, like cross curricula, but cross seasonal crafting. That's what we're going to get into here at the County Stitches, cross seasonal crafting. We're going to, we're going to, uh, Coin that one. Uh, same design. I'm not a fan of the hot. But today was gorgeous, right, Aim? Okay, Kel. So we're going to go different. Oh, okay. okay. Um, all right. We're going to grab some red. And we're going to grab, we have the white out. Okay. Let's see. I've got a red rose here. What if I did an ombre on this red rose? So I start with a dark red, work my way up to like a, a light here, a, like almost a white at the top. Right, because we'll go deeper to lighter. What do you think? We'll do an ombre red rose, red to red to white. I think we can handle that. I'm gonna get a skinnier brush since it's a smaller piece, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna flip it upside down because I'm gonna start with this at the top. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Oh, thanks, Carrie. All right, let's do it. Okay. So let me get some. Now we already got the white out. I got some red. This is flag red because Lord knows Bethany loves the American flag. Um, all right. Oh, is that a, is this a tulip and not a rose? Guys, I don't know flowers. Is this a tulip? Am I, can I still paint it an ombre color? Can there be ombre colored tulips? Thanks, Kama. I have, I have no clue. Is this a tulip? I'm, I think let's still go ombre because we can do ombre on this one too. And we can just like have fun with this. Maybe, oh yeah. Oops, thanks guys. Okay, so hi, Tulip. <laughs> I don't know these things. Thanks guys. Um, okay, so I can still do a red ombre tulip. Okay, how about a purple ombre flower? <laughs> Anybody have an idea what this flower is? Oh my gosh. Yes, okay. Okay, cool. So what do you think of a purple ombre for this rounded flower? Let me know. I don't even know. Okay. Oh boy. This is where we're at right now, guys. This is where we're at. Okay. Oh my gosh. So my chair that I sit in, um, as I don't really think you guys are going to think this is as funny as I do, but so the chair that I sit in, um, so I'm going to start with red at the bottom here. All right. So I'm putting red. I hope you can see this. Yep. And then... I'm going to add a little white as I go. Um, so the chair that I sit in, and then as you go, you just kind of add more white, okay? And you just blend it up. It's really not hard to do. Um, so, yeah, oh God, I, I'm so scatterbrained. Poor Bob that he lives with this. <laughs> um, so this chair obviously is adjustable like most office chairs. Wow, that was fast. Um, so right before Bob went back downstairs after, um, after he came up when our movie was done before I started this, I had the chair high and I pressed the button to go down and he was like, what happened? I was like, going down. <laughs> Sorry, really not that funny. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> okay. Yay. Okay. So we'll do red and purple. I want a little bit deeper red at the bottom here. So let me get rid of some of this white. It's hard because this is just so small. All right, let me just blend up. All right. Oh, I like this. This looks nice. And it ends up being this really pretty. Really, really pretty. Sorry, I'm like concentrating. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, all right. I'm just gonna add a little bit more white at the top. I'm gonna brush, try to get some off my brush here. Get some of that red off. Sorry, I'm really concentrating right now, guys. My bad. Sorry I'm not talking to you. 
Okay, so there's our tulip, right? Tulip, yes, okay. I'm gonna dry it. I do need to paint the sides. Um, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. I think I'm just gonna paint them, whatever's on my brush, that way it just kinda goes with it. Oh, and I have to show you guys, sorry, I'm wicked concentrating right now. I have to show you guys some of the things that I made today. So, okay, so I, I'm sure many of you, you know, because I, I, I don't know everybody personally, but I'm sure many of you have your own side hustle type businesses or things that you do. So I've been trying to find exactly the direction I want to go with all of this with Count Your Stitches. Um, thank you, Kelly. And, you know, there are some fairs this summer and in a couple of weeks, a couple that I've told you guys about that are coming up. And I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out my way right? And, and exactly what I want to do and finding the time to do it and all that fun stuff. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate if you are doing your own kind of side hustle things and all of that. So I said to Bob yesterday, cause I said, I just feel like I'm, I don't know where I'm going right now and I, I need some direction. So I decided that there are two fairs at least that I'm going to sign up for one in May, one in July so far. If there's some in the middle, I'll figure it out. I'll add them in possibly. And so I'm trying to, so I said to him, I'm like, I need to commit to crafting, right? Like I do this every week and I usually have a crochet order every time it's going to dry this, a crochet order going that I do, you know, at night when we're watching television or whatever, but I don't, and, it, and again, when we do the live stuff, it's always really seasonal stuff. So I'm always afraid that I won't have enough to do a fair uh, with um, crafts that are current, right? Because I only do one a week with you guys. And so I said to him, I'm like, I need to just commit to crafting and make it a bigger part of my life, which is not a bad thing because I love to do it. So I've decided that at least a few nights a week, I'm going to just do a craft. It doesn't take very long, um, you know, either after dinner or like right before I make dinner or while dinner is going, I can start a craft, right? Like if I throw it in the oven or whatever, because I love those kinds of dinners, you know, like prep everything, put it on a sheet pan and put it in the oven. Um, and if you have any like faves sheet pan recipes, let me know. Um, so I'm just going to try to do a craft a couple of times a week, if at least, and just get it done. What do we think guys? Tulip done. Yes. Oh, hello. Um, and just get it done and then build my collection and then go to fairs and do this. This looks pretty hot. Huh? I like this. Sweet. Okay. I'm excited about that one. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do, you know, cause I want, I want to feel like I'm going somewhere with all of this and not that, I mean, and I love, I love doing this and we're going to keep doing this because I adore it. Um, but I don't know, like I love crafting and I want it, I want it to be a bigger part of my life. So I am going to commit some time that I'm going to craft more often. All right. And I, I, I've been thinking about trying to get into video tutorials. So pre-recorded stuff. I just don't know. Um, so we said purple for this, this unknown flower, correct? Hi, Peggy. Um, I think we said purple, right? Um, so yeah, I've been thinking about maybe doing video pre-recorded tutorials as opposed to only lives. Um, we'll see. I don't know, because I feel like when I craft sometimes, as you see, I'm all over the place. Um, and I, I don't know, I feel like if I try to do the whole pre-recorded thing, it's just going to be a hot mess. Um, this is supposed to be a hot mess. Hi, Peggy. Um, oops, I already, I'm going to do a new set of white over here. So I'm going to do purple to white um, on this unknown tool, on this unknown flower. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Um, tell me, I don't know. I just, I, I'm open to ideas and thoughts and I don't know, things you think are cool and what's in with this kind of crafting, creative maker world. Um, you know, I, cause I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to be, cause I don't want to try to do too many things and then not be able to handle it. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Give me, what's your advice? My count your stitches family. What is your advice? All right, I'm going to try to really get this a nice deep purple on the bottom here. Actually, I'm going to, yeah. I want this to be such a deep purple that I'm going to 
dry it, and then do a second coat, and then blend with that second coat. Um, just so that it looks nicer. So yeah, what do you guys think? I don't know, what do you, what do you wanna see more of? Um, Cause like I said, I don't wanna spread myself too thin and do all the lives and all the pre-recorded sessions and all the tutorials and all the, I don't know, I don't, if it's not something that everybody wants to see, do you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know, you guys help me out, let me know your thoughts um, and where you think we should go with all this fun stuff. All right, so we're just ombreing out this purple. Oh, this looks divine. Oh, all right. So yeah, so that so anyway, so just I don't know, let me know your thoughts. So what's going on with upcoming Mother's Day celebrations with everybody? Um for those of you that are celebrating. Um I'm hanging out with my mama. Going to go out to a lovely late afternoon din with the fam. Very excited. Love my mama. And, guys, I have an announcement to make about the Mama Count Your Stitches and me live. So, mark your calendars for this Wednesday night. 7 p.m., myself and Mama Count Your Stitches will be live crafting. So it, it's Cinco de Mayo, so, you know, grab a, grab a cocktail while you watch us. And we're going to be doing a summertime craft. Okay, this didn't really come out ombre, but I kind of like it. What do you think? I know it didn't fully come out ombre, but I kind of like it. Oh, who else? Who else is talking? Oh, Carrie saying hi. Hi, Carrie. Everybody saying hey to everybody. So yes, mark your calendars. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. on here. Mama Count Your Stitches and I doing a summertime Mother's Day craft together in honor of Mother's Day. Tell me what's going on for your Mother's Day. Doing anything fun? We're going out to a restaurant that's on the water. So that'll be really nice. We can hopefully it's a nice day. What's the weather looking like for next weekend? Um, let me know. I'm not sure. Oh, sure, because I didn't mean to do that. I want to paint the rest of this. Hello. So I'm just going to take some of the mixed paint I have and paint the rest of this. Oh, my gosh. So, guys, I did the um, I did the bonus live on Wednesday last week, and I was in the middle of it, and there was, like, nobody watching at all. I had no comments. I was freaking out. I, you know... <laughs> I was, I was having this moment where I was like, you know, just when I think I'm doing well and I have people and we're hanging and it's always, you know, it's always so much fun. Then I have a live where there's nobody there and I'm so sad and nobody's watching. Well, come to find out that the video was all messed up and it was showing everything I did like twice or something strange. So nobody could really watch it. And I was like, oh, thank God. Um, so... Then I ended up signing on for a second time. But it's weird because we just got a new internet router and it was going so well. Um, but you know what? Both Bob and I have slower, older computers. Um, and so like Bob has a work computer that's newer and the internet works fine on that. And I mean, my phone certainly isn't old. I mean, for gosh sake, it's only a few years old. Um, Oh, yay, Amy. Okay, that sounds great. Um, I can't wait because, yeah, you know, we're going to chat about lots. Um, so I don't know what's up, guys. Do you, and maybe you guys have, an, maybe y'all have an idea. Um, so my phone's not, I mean, it's a few years old. And so it's sometimes the internet's not so reliable there. My computer is, my laptop is, gosh, seven years old. Bob's is probably a little older. Um, and then, but Bob's work computer, the internet works really well. So do you think, had, does anybody have any, any expertise on that, that it might be the device that's just not receiving the router information as well? Yeah, Carrie, ain't that the truth? I mean, come on. We spend all this money on phones and they, they barely last. I can't even. I can't even. Um... Oh, okay, sorry, stretching out my leg. All right, so we've got our unnamed flower. Oh, look, 
It's it, my gosh, it like blends in. Love and our tulip, unnamed flower and tulip. I literally can't get over how well that matches. All right, these came out super pretty. New router, you know, it's funny, Carrie, we just got a new router. <laughs> And, um, and you know, it's like, this was supposed to fix this problem. Um, so I don't know what's gonna, I don't know what's gonna watch. And hey, KT, KT. All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side a little bit. We're gonna bring back our board. Now, I have a stencil that I wanna do on the board, and I wanna do the stencil first. That way, um, I then know where to place this, these, as opposed to not having enough room um, for the stencil later. Quits out on the internet, but... Okay, so Amy, it's gotta be that, right? It's gotta be that our devices are older, so it's just not receiving the router information as well. My gosh. I can't even. Um, all right. Purple fluff. Pansy! Amy, that sounds great. I love it. I love it. All right. So a couple of things I'm gonna grab here, guys. All right, I got my... This, so this is what I'm always reaching for, just so that you know. This is my, this is a Dollar Tree cup, and I just keep all my cheap brushes that I get. All right, so I'm gonna grab this really neat brush that's got, it's like a fan, okay? Grab that, whoops, I'm gonna grab that one, and I'm going to grab, I want a thinner brush, but that's, uh, that's too thick, okay. And that's too thick too. We're gonna grab this brush. Um, so it's a pointed, thinner brush. We're gonna do some stems, some leaves, and some grass, all right? Because the, these are gonna grow out of the grass, even though, because that just looks cuter, all right? All right, we need some green. I'm gonna get some green paint going here. I don't want this green. I think I want this green. This is Mountain Forest. That'll be fine, I think. I think that'll be fine. I could mix it with some white if I really wanted to. All right, hi, oh my gosh, excuse me. Hi, April. April, we're painting pretty flowers. Um, April, tell Dan. Your lawn is amazing. And he can come over to our house and make our lawn look that beautiful anytime that he would like. Because wow. Uh, <laughs> I saw that picture and I was like, wow. Um, so yeah, he's welcome anytime, anytime. We will feed him. We will feed him. All right, so we'll feed y'all. Why don't y'all just come over? Dan can work on the grass, the rest of us can hang. Um, but anyway. <laughs> um, all right, so. I want to do some, no, what did I say? I was going to do shugs, guys. I completely forgot what I was doing. I need to do the stencil first. Wow, I'm a mess tonight. Okay, so I'm going to use this little one here that says time to bloom. I thought that would be cute. And since it's aligned to the side, as opposed to like centered, like the love grows here one was, I'm going to align it to the side of the, um, the board. And... Um, and stencil it that way. And then maybe put a little bow in the corner. That's what I was thinking. All right, so I'm gonna grab a dabber. What color? Shugs. Um, yellow? Yellow? Bright yellow? What do you think? Or, um, ooh, what do you think? What is this? Caribbean? Caribbean, however you wanna say it, or Laguna? Can you tell the difference? Yes, we can come over to and cut the grass. <laughs> I love it. Oh, April, his lawn needs to be Facebook famous because it's amazing. So he can fix our lawn. It needs to be reseeded and all that. He can, you know, whatever, you know, whatever he's, he wants to do to it to make it look beautiful. What do we think? Caribbean or Laguna? Can you even tell the difference on here? Caribbean is a brighter. Laguna is a little bit darker. Um, let's go with Caribbean. We're going to go with Caribbean. All right. This is going to be difficult because I'm running out of room on my plate but we're gonna make it work. I don't need too much. All right, so I'm just gonna dab on, I'm gonna grab a piece of painter's tape to hold this in place. We're gonna hope this is straight, I don't even know. All right, all right, cool. So that's that, that's that. Okay, good enough, we'll see what happens. You know what, this is crafting, this is fun, this is live. Just trying to line up the stencil a little bit. Caribbean yellow. Oh, gosh. I can't do two, so we'll go with the Caribbean for now. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put some paint on the dabber and then dab it off a little. Try to cover the side to the dabber, too, okay? So you have some more flexibility. And then we're going to dab this on. All right, here we go. 
Okay, I'm just gonna put the, it says time to bloom. Thought that would be cute. I'm gonna do two coats because I want it to be a little bit more opaque. So I'm gonna just hit this with a blow dry or you know, the heat gun real fast. I don't wanna melt my stencil. Um, all right, one more coat. All right, I'm still trying to think of, um, so earlier I was talking about like, where should count your stitches go and what does everybody want? I'm still trying to figure out doing another craft party. Um, another Zoom craft party. I would love to do one of those. I would love to do an in-person craft tutorial with, with peeps, so with local peeps. So we'll have to see where everything goes. We'll have to see. All right, let's see what happened with that. Whoops, okay. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. I know it's um, kind of hard to see, but that's super cute. Okay, cool. We're going to set this to the side. That way it can dry. And I don't need this painter's tape anymore. Oh, Shugs, hold on. Please hold. I dropped a dab on the carpet. We're, well, good thing this is a kind of a crappy carpet. <laughs> Not that we should be dropping things on it, just because, but, you know. Okay, we've got the stencil done. Let's hit that with the heat gun to dry it up. I wanted to tell you guys about... Oh, so for those of you who are semi-local, I want to tell you about a killer awesome um, consignment shop we hit up yesterday called The Find on Six. Um, highly, highly recommend. I got this gorgeous platter. So it's it's bigger than this. So it's like, it's big. It's It's large. Big, big, big. You can't see because my hands are out here. Super large platter, beautiful flowers on it. It was only $14. I swear to God, at, you know, a Williams Sonoma, it'd be a $50 platter. I, it was gorgeous, brand new in my opinion. Um, I don't know. But they just had the most beautiful things. So I just, I highly recommend the Find on Six. It was awesome. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, Mom saw it last night. Oh, my gosh. Again, local for you guys if you're around here. Wright's Farm. Drop some comments, hearts, chicken, whatever comment you want to, french fry, pasta, emoji, drop them all if you love Wright's Farm. It is open again. We went yesterday. I can't tell you how happy I was to be eating at Wright's Farm again. Oh my gosh, guys, this color combination is my jam right now, is my jam. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint the um, stem first of the tulip because that's going to be the higher one because I'm going to put the purple one on top of its stem. So I'm going to paint that. I'm not gluing anything down yet. Um, I'll glue it down later, but what's up? Yes. What? April, Dan, what? Why? Dan, Dan, what's wrong? Dan, it serves french fries and pasta and bread and the world's most delicious salad. I mean, it serves chicken too, but I'm not a huge chicken on the bone or even just chicken fan. Literally last night, I ate, um, I ate like a tiny bit of chicken and then I just ate plain pasta, french fries, bread, which wasn't as good as always, but that's okay, and salad. That was, oh my gosh, I was so excited. All right, so I'm gonna take my green paint. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling the brush um, in the paint a little bit to try to make the brush a little pointier so that when I bring it down, I don't know, it didn't really work. It's a cheap brush. It is what it is. But anyway, okay. And I'm just going to do a line, a green line down to the bottom because we'll fill that in with... Um, grass later but I'm just making a stem I know stems are like brown or I don't know I'm just making everything green guys we're going straight like little kid status of making a green stem okay I don't know why I tried to make this wider it was beautiful the way it was okay and now I'm trying to think do I need leaves I don't know if we need leaves guys I need to stop saying guys I need to say everyone family favorite with me but Dan can't get on board April your family will go <laughs> We'll jump on your family tradition with our family tradition of it. We'll combine them. We'll go. Dan can just work on the grass. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that will work, right? Um, we, so we had a great, we had a great day up in northwestern Rhode Island yesterday. Um, mm, my gosh, Amber, your comment made me spit water. Oh my gosh. 
Mm. Thank you. I curled my hair yesterday with a half inch. So it's a curling iron, but I used it like a wand because it doesn't work as well as a curling iron. So I curled it with a half inch. So it was a little bit more spirally yesterday. Um, and I didn't, um, <laughs> this is Jill. Okay. That works. That, wow. That was, that's like the best deal. Thank you, Amber. Um, so I didn't, and I didn't brush, normally when I curl my hair lately, I use a one inch um, straightener. So I, I brush through them with a wide um, teeth brush, comb, whatever. Um, but when I did the half inch curler, curling wand yesterday, um, cause I just wanted to try it. I had the wand and I'd never used it before. Um, so I'm just gonna put this a little lower. Um, so I didn't brush it out. I um, just ran my fingers through it and it seemed to work well through a little bit of dry, well, a lot of dry shampoo in it. I haven't washed it since like Thursday, but it's looking okay for a Thursday, huh? Um, and then when I went to bed last night, I didn't brush my hair. I just let it stay like this. And in the morning, this is what it looked like. This has never happened to me, guys. Um, this has never happened to me before. This is what my hair looked like when I, I woke up this way, guys. I literally woke up this way. But thank you, Am. You're too cute. All right. So I placed the purple flower down. Um, and I'm going to make its stem now. So I'm just bringing... I saw this person that I watched, this crafter painter person, who is an amazing painter. She does door signs and stuff. It, it seems like it's all about the the arm and the wrist. The arm and not so much... That didn't work out well, but that's okay. Um, it seems like it's more about moving your arm as opposed to trying to move your hand. So I'm trying to learn how to do that. I also think... Thanks, Mom. Definitely didn't sleep like a princess. So I, anybody else, like, roll all the time? Uh, I just... I move. I talk in my sleep. I move. I sing. It Again, God bless Bob. Just God bless Bob for dealing with me. Um, but yeah, so I, I think it also helps when you're trying to make really nice lines to have really good quality brushes. I don't buy really great quality brushes because I don't really paint fancy things. I paint this, right? Um, but if you're trying to really do nice stuff where you need beautiful lines, A, get a really good, oh, yes, Robert, he is a saint. Um, you are a saint. So first thing is to get really good quality brushes. And the second thing is it's, it's about your arm movement more than it is like your hand wrist movement. Um, and to keep it steady, obviously. All right, so I did the two stems. I'll show you. And then I was going to ask if you think we need any leaves. So I'm just going to dry this. Then we'll throw some grass in. <laughs> Bob, a saint. Oh, my gosh. This just turns into such a, okay. So do you think I need, so here's our two, here's the two stems, sands the actual flower tops. <laughs> Amber, oh, Am, your, um, that for professional photography picture, amazing. Um, Amber does photography too, everybody. Just saying, y'all need her. She's amazing. Um, but so do I need leaves? What do you think? Do we need leaves? I'm so bummed you can't see the time to bloom as much. You can see it here, but you can't see it as much there. But do we need a leaf or two on these stems? Let me know. For those of you just hopping on, my name is Bethany. I am from Count Your Stitches. We're doing our uh, weekly live Sunday night craft. Um, and yeah, so welcome. Please make sure you comment below and say, hey, like this video. And if you could also sprinkle it on your page, which means S-H-A-R-E, this video on your page, if you're loving it, I would super appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Um, so do we need, we need a leaf. Okay. She is very photogenic, Bob. Um, so, okay, here we go. Oh, I also wanted to tell you all, uh, I'm going to go live again Wednesday night, 7 p.m. with Mama Count Your Stitches. She and I are going to go live. It's going to be our Mother's Day live. We're going to do a craft together here. Um, and then I don't know if I'm going to go live next Sunday night. Probably not, okay? So we'll do Wednesday, and then I'll announce when we'll go live after that. So next Sunday, probably not, okay? Just so everybody knows, just because it's Mother's Day and we're doing stuff, all right? Oh my gosh, Ellen Rimes have to send you my favorites. Then you, yeah, Amber, please do. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a leaf on here somewhere. Okay. 
Actually, I'm not even sure I'm gonna have room for a leaf because we need to put the grass on. So I'm gonna take this feather, take the feather uh, brush, which is really super cool. And I'm going to brush on some grass. So I'm gonna go up with it because then it's gonna look like I have grass going on. Oh my gosh, this is actually working. This is so cool. Okay, going up, 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 up. Looks like grass. I'm not worrying about full coverage. This is so cool, it's working. I love when things actually work. Okay, cool. So here's our grass, I'll show you that. All right, kind of neat. Actually, one thing I want to do is I have this other green. It's a super bright green. I'm going to put a little bit down because I want to mix in some bright green. Just some flex to give this some depth of color. Okay? And then put a little bit more darker green over it. Again, I'm just wisping up, adding some depth to these to these stems. Okay, oh, I'm happy with this, look at this. Check it out. All right, so I just gave it a little bit more depth. I added a, a brighter green to it. All right, we're gonna dry this up. Um, all right. So yeah, probably, so we're gonna go live on Wednesday night, probably not next Sunday night, um, but anywho. So that's where we're at with lives. I have some things that I made today that I want to show you. Also, again, so comment below some things that you'd like to see from Count Your Stitches. So I'd love to, tell me if you want to do um, a Zoom tutorial, like craft party where you can sign up. Tell me if you'd want to do like a a Facebook Live where I give a, a list of materials ahead of time you can comment in as you are making it. So it'd be kind of like a Zoom craft party. I just couldn't see you and you wouldn't have to sign up. You can just do it. Tell me if you want to do that. Um, tell me if you want to see video tutorials on how to do certain crafts. I want to just make sure that I am responding to what the people want. All right, so. Um, so I think says he does and I agree to oh to what am sorry <laughs> um okay I'm gonna it's about time for me to plug in I think we're done painting right we did the grass we did the set no a leave I need a leave I don't know if I have room for a leave I just realized hold on let me place this back the pansy right the pansy put the pansy back all right put the tulip back nope I don't have room for a leave I'm very sorry I don't have room for a leave. All right, it's just about time. Excuse me, I am burping or whatever I'm doing. Okay, so it's just about time for me to plug in the hot glue gun. Let's get going, the Zoom. Oh, sorry, sorry, Amber. <laughs> yeah, so okay, I think we'll do another Zoom craft party. I've gotta get that plan. We've got a lot of things coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, tell me how, you, okay, so here's something I wanna talk about. So COVID brought many, many challenges, right? But you know, I always told, I always talk about how, um, just letting this warm up, but I always talk about how it also taught a lot of us to slow down and appreciate the things that we have and the time that we have and um, which we love, right? And I feel like vaccinations have happened and, you know, things are reopening. And I feel like we're just like full steam ahead again. You know, and I feel like instead of easing back into things, it's like, Boom, life is open again. Um, hi, Bob. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that. I, I kind of, I wanted a happy medium of like the go, go, go. And that was pre-COVID and the, like the super slow that was COVID, right? Um, because I, I've now learned to appreciate that time to just chill. Um, because, you know, because you only get so much of that, you know? And I don't know, I just... I mean, literally, our weekends for the next however long are just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Amy's waving at you. Uh, he says hi. I don't know if you heard that. Um, I don't know. What do you guys, what do you all think about this? I, is it, or is it even like this for a lot of you? I don't know. Maybe it's just 
who we associate with. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we need to find, I don't know. Um, I'm just waiting for this to warm up. I'm sorry, friends. Um, I don't know. How does everybody else feel or, and how is it for everybody else? Um, I just, I wanted a happy medium between the super, super busy and the super, super lockdown. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like we've gone boom, boom, boom. Oh, all right. So I'm just rinsing this off. I'm going to put some, while we're, well, I can't really do this yet. Okay. So all of our paints are over there. I remember paper towels this time. I remembered everything this time. I was so excited. Okay. Show. Sure. Let us, so what I'm going to do is glue down the tulip and the, no, the pansy and the tulip. And then I want to pick out, I'll have you guys, oh, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I'll ask you guys for your opinion in a second. I agree. The world hit play and now I feel like it's, yeah, yeah, Amy, I feel the same way. I just, I, I feel it like everybody just said, oh, here we go. Just boom, jumped on and I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it all goes, right? I'm looking forward to summer, looking forward to spending some time outside. Um, oh, there we go. Just putting the glue on the other end. Um, looking forward to seeing family again that, you know, that we can. But I definitely just want to make sure that we continue to not go nuts, you know? That's, I don't know, that's just a, that's a goal of mine. Is What are some of your goals kind of post-COVID in terms of, is there anything that you took, sorry, anything that you took out of this, this pandemic in a more positive light, maybe some changes to make in your life? Is there any, anybody have any kind of post-COVID goals or, or things that you've learned, um, from this this pandemic, this worldwide pandemic that we've all gone through. Definitely ours is, you know, appreciate um appreciate the downtime, appreciate not that we didn't appreciate each other and everything, but just to appreciate it even more, you know? Um but how about anybody else? All right, just putting down the tulip. Whoops, there we go. Just wanted to be on the board. Okay. And then we'll pick out some ribbon. What do we think? We're almost there. Almost there. We're going to watch a movie after this, too. I love watching movies with Bob. It is so much fun. Although I've been getting more tired and more tired and wanting to go to bed early. Last night, I watched Annie. So we have Disney+. Plus. I think you guys have heard me talk about this before. Um, and I... So I love Disney. That is a... To be more mindful, to in addition to appreciative. Yes, Amy. Absolutely. I feel like being more mindful of just so much because so much happened in the last year um, in our country, in the world, not just the pandemic, but so much happened. So just be more, be more mindful of us and our impact on others' lives, right? Um, and then just to be more appreciative, of course, of just everything that we, everything that we have. Yeah, April, yes. I forgot how much I love hugs. I mean, I I feel like you. I would just hug everybody. Um, so here's where we're at. Um, so for those of you who know me, I, I'm gonna pick out some ribbon while we're talking. For those of you who know me, I um, I sing, um, and I would do a lot of singing for <laughs> Bob singing. But I would do a lot of singing for um, weddings and funerals and such. And it was. I'm just taking out my massive bit basket here. And it was one of those things um, where those are very emotional moments for people, right? You're seeing this like awkward view of me. Hi. Um, those are really emotional moments for people. And so people would hug me all the time, you know, after this wedding was over, after the funeral was over, just a hug was just their way of saying thank you or, or whatever. And I felt so blessed to be able to bring whatever I brought to them that day. Um, and so I hugged all the time. I hug Bob. I hug my parents and then that's it. I hugged Amy when I saw her. Um, I do. April, you are so right about hugs. Um, <laughs> Bob would, Bob, if Bob were in here, he'd be like, yeah, okay. Hugging. Ugh. Like he's not, not a hugger, but he's a great hugger. He just doesn't like to hug everybody. <laughs> um, but 
Uh, but yeah, I miss, I miss that April. You are on point with that. Goodness. So this doesn't match what we're doing, but check out this cute little pineapple ribbon I got recently. We're gonna have to do something with that. So my thought here, friends, is do we just throw some raffia right up in this? I want to fill this corner in. Should I put like a tiny little raffia bow? I think that, but Bob, you want to advertise publicly that you have a sensitive side? Who are you? Who are you? Um, <laughs> Amber. <laughs> uh, yes, Amy, and love the second of it. Yes, mama. Hugging is the best. Okay. I'm going to take out, this is a nice thick piece of raffia. Mom, how'd that raffia work out for you? So I am going to wrap this tiny, okay? And we're going to make a tiny little bow out of this really nice thick piece of raffia that we're going to stick in the corner. So instead of doing a ribbon bow, I'm going to do a raffia bow. I'm going to get another thick piece out to tie it. I've discovered that I can tie raffia bows with raffia, which might have been obvious to everybody but me. Um, if you get a nice thick piece, it works really beautifully. Amber, Rob, my God. I almost said Rob. Who's Rob? Bob. Okay. <laughs> tie that nice and tight. I don't think I'm going to cut. Uh, okay, Mom. Um... I, think I, I don't think I'm going to cut these little looped edges. I think they look cute. All right, so we got that. I'm going to put this away. This is, oh, yeah, you can kind of see part of my crazy life here. Where are my scissors at, everybody? Oh, here they are. Okay. So I'm just going to cut off the excess. So we've got an excess piece here, excess here, and here. And when you tie it with raffia, it just mixes in. So, all right. My thought is just a little raffia bow right there. What do you think? Think that'll look cute? Tell me before I glue it. Tell me if you think that'll look okay. Um, but yeah, I miss, I miss, I, I do miss people. I, I mean, that's, I'm a people person. Most, obviously I do this, right? Um, I'm looking forward to doing some of the fairs to see people. Thanks, Bobby. Um, to see people again. Um, I mean, people can be frustrating too, right? We all know about that too. Um, but no, I'm looking, I, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to some things reopening. Some things. One thing I have to tell you, because I don't want to see them die. So go to the movies, okay? We love going to the movies. Um, that's one thing we've totally embraced, reopening. Um, we go, we tend to go on the cheap night. So whatever movie theater is near you, find, there's always a cheaper night. For us, it's Tuesdays. So find the cheap night, go. No one else is there. Um, I think there was one time we went, we were the only people in the theater. Another time, there was maybe one other couple. So super safe. Um, oh, thanks, Bob. You're so sweet. Kiko. Um, go to the movies. I don't want to see any more movie theaters shut down. April, I thought of you, but with the Narragansett one. I was like, mm. um, But yeah, don't... Don't, don't, let's not let the movie theaters close. Go to the movies, go to the drive-in. The drive-in near us is open again. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. The drive-in near us is open again. We're gonna go at some point. Um, yeah, just go to the movies, okay? I don't wanna, we love movies. We don't wanna see the movie theaters close. So definitely go to the movies. Oh, I feel like I need to, anybody know any flowery gardeny songs? I could sing. Well, there was this, um, when I was in a community chorus where Bob and I met actually, um, and, um, I once helped with the children's chorus cause I used to teach music. Fun fact for everybody. I used to teach music and I did a chorus with my kids and everything. Um, oh my gosh. Um, oh yeah, April, Bob, that's a great idea. We should just like have a drive-in party. That would be so much fun. We should do the fam. Um, so I helped out the children's chorus in the community chorus we're in. And we did sing this with the little one saying the song that some of you might know. Um, inch by inch, row by row. Um, gonna make this garden grow. All you need is a rake and a hoe and a piece of solid ground. I think that's how it went. But anyway, so I was trying to think some songs we could sing right now. Okay. What do you think? 
So it says time to bloom. I know it's a little bit difficult to see. I wonder if I adjust the lighting. No, nope, not really. Okay, hold on. Whoa, it, whoa, hello. There we go. What do you think? I'm just wondering what to do for a hanger. I'm, I'm wondering if I should do a hanger that's just little behind it so you don't actually see it. Um, or this could just be a shelf sitter. That's an idea too. Um, oh yes, Monique, yes. I, I know, the movies in the theater are the best. You really can't beat it. Um, thank you, everybody. You're all so sweet. Oh, thanks, 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 thanks. Monique and April and Amber and everybody. Thank you so much. Um, thanks, Mom. Excuse me. Um, I think I might just do a little hanger on the back that you can't see. So that way you could either do it as a shelf sitter or hang it up, but you won't see that otherwise. I would do it if you did hang it deaf on a small, deaf, yeah, shelf, yeah. So I'm gonna make it a convertible shelf sitter or hang. So I'll do a little hanger on the back that you can't see when it's like this. It'll just sit at the top um, back here so you won't be able to see it. Oh, also, did um, the Sally Hansen, again, I, I really like it. I mean, it's, it already chipped a tiny bit, but I really painted them because they were super, super short and I need them to grow. Um, so I do, I, I really like the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I still need to try the Essie, right? That's what it's called, Essie Gel. Um, but yeah, so I really, I like the way these came out. We're in a purple theme this week. Yeah, so okay, awesome sauce. So I'm just gonna do a little hanger. This will be a little shelf sitter, a little spring shelf sitter. Let me quickly show you the two things that I made today because I'm really proud of them. Um, <laughs> I really, really like how they came out. Okay, so here's the first thing I made. Um, just a little frame. Uh, this We actually used one of these hearts with a Valentine's Day craft we did. Um, but this is one thing I made. And uh, so this is, this was a frame, this is glass, that I Mod Podged a napkin over. Um, and, you know, just did a few other things to it and made it just kind of really cute. And it does have a hanger on the back. So that's one thing that I made today. Um, and then the other thing that I made today is a bit bigger, so let me just back up. And this was just a combination of things I already had, something I bought yesterday at the Dollar General. So this is a, a wreath that I made today with a little pillow that hangs from it that says blessed. I really love this. Um, yes, Monique, I was going for kind of a farmhouse look. And I was also, we were talking earlier about um, more making more generic things as opposed to um, only seasonal things because I wanna make sure that people can always find things from me that are, um, you know, year round, you know, not just after the fact or anything like that. Um, so I made those two things today. I really, I thought this was really cute how this came out. Um, I just think it's really neat. And I love Buffalo check, you know. You know we love the Buffalo check. Um, but so those are gonna be listed in the County Stitches store. Whew, all right. So I think that's everything for tonight, my friends. This came out really nice. I'm very excited about this. I will put a tiny little hanger on the back, but also use it as a shelf sitter. I will post a picture of it tomorrow in it, in a nice place um, with the replay if you are catching it. And with the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay and say hey in the comment section. Love talking to you guys always. Um, if you have not done so already, make sure that you comment to say hello and where you're watching from. Um, and also sprinkle this video out on your page, which means S-H-A-R-E, please, if you love it. Um, would love to spread the crafting love. Um, and Wednesday night, just a reminder, Mama and I will be doing a Mother's Day craft. Well, we'll be doing a, a craft for our Mother's Day, but we do it Wednesday night at 7, the two of us together um, doing a summary type craft. So don't miss out. Again, Wednesday at 7, Mom and I will see you. And then most likely I will not be here on Sunday. I will post as to when... Um, when if I'll go live a different night, but we'll probably just do Wednesday night and then um, the next week, okay? And the next week's gonna be on a Friday. So we'll do this Wednesday, and then I think it's Friday the 14th, possibly. No, Thursday, Thursday. <sighs> Gosh, okay, so this Wednesday and next Thursday, that's what it's gonna be, okay? But anyway, I'll post it all, you'll see it. So anyway, let's hold this up again, show you what we made tonight out of some just wood cutouts that I got from a yard sale. Little, um, This is from Dollar General. And um, a little stencil that I got at uh, Michael's, Joanne's, Joanne's. Anywho, well, thank you guys all so very much. I will see you on Wednesday. Have a marvelous beginning of your week. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.